Okay, lastly, I want to say, let's assume you're a brother or a manager to a particular player who's going to get a lump sum of signing on fee in a month or six months from now, or he's going to move from small team to a big team, the salary is going to increase from 20 rand to 50 rand. What advice would you give to that particular player to say, if you get a huge money jump or a lump sum, as if I were your brother or your father or your manager, I'll say this to you about this money. Yeah, obviously, if, like I said, if I was a manager, whatever, like you're not saying, if someone gets five rand and automatically he, he sees a new contract with ten rand, he's been living with five rand all the time. I would tell him, listen, you're not going to even touch that other, probably other four rand. Just give him the six rand because you were coping all along with five rand. Give him the six rand and keep the four rand. And put it in the clause like this four end is going um, in investment account or you want to invest this in property or but it's not coming to your account mm. you know you need to so that he can also have that sense of um, looking off you're looking after him but you want to help him also look after his own money mm. and engage with him in that sense like that you are okay now you don't need this let's put it away for after you know, mm. and also you, you need, to, need to show him, like, listen here, this is what I'm going to do with your money. At the end of the day, this 10 rand will be worth 30 rand after 10 years. And show him the bigger picture. Yeah. Because some some people will say, no, invest it there. Mm. But then he say, why? And then you say, no, you can earn this interest. But everybody don't understand the same language. Mm. So it's, it's an educational thing, but also a benefit to the player as well. Yeah. So make him understand that when you sign your next contract, you're not signing the tenor and you're only signing for six rand. Mm. But because that other four rand is going in different avenues. So when you do it, um, re retire one day, whatever, you end up hanging up your boots and then you know you have access to all those funds. And I think that's, that's one thing that we should do in South Africa. Yeah. Um, I remember having this conversation with an, the late Anele, mm -hmm. I think they have it in Belgium, where they take a percentage of your money, the, they keep it in, the, in a fund or a trust. The day that you say you retire, that, that percentage comes back to you and you left with probably millions. Yeah. And I think it's, it's a good thing because then you're also more older and more experience in life and now you also have money mm -hmm. so now you if you didn't start before then you can always you have a second chance to start so i think we should start that in the in South africa where when people sign the con first contract it should be a percentage of that going in another fund or or in different investments yeah that's a very interesting clause that it, it can help but do you think it must be applied from SAFA level, PSL, club level, or the player's agent? Who would be the best person to implement this clause? I think the, the player's agent, we, we start there. And because at the end of the day, you have a relationship with that player. Mm. And if it was me, I would, I'm signing a youngster. I even sit his parents down, everything, and I, I lay out the vision, everything. And show them because at the end of the day, the parents only want what's good for, for the, the, the children. Yeah. So obviously, it will always start with someone you have a closer relationship to. And because you entrusting, if I sign with you, I'm trusting you to, to look after me and get teams, you know, and those sort of things. So I think it should start there, but also, also be implemented at your highest level as well. Your SAFA, so, it will become a norm. So that they say, hey, if they sign, but your percentage goes there and, you know, so your agent also has a role to play and say, no, that is a good thing. And, you know, mm. because he also does his research and he can relate to you and tell you this and that. And I think it will work. Yeah. yeah.